Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So, I had this idea, I was going through and I was messing with my phone this morning, and I thought, ah, I'm going to go ahead and remap my power button. Well, to my surprise, as I was remapping my power button for the double press, I realized that you could get rid of Bixby as well. So, I wanted to make this video so I could show you, one, how you can change your power button settings for the double press feature, and also for the long press feature so it won't pull up Bixby anymore. You can have it access the power button settings like a normal power button would. So it was not enough, of course, then to move the power button to the left side, which I'm actually getting used to. But then they still use that power button as a multifunction button, which accesses Bixby. And I don't think they widely advertise it enough that you could set up featured apps that you would like to use as well. So right now, on your phone, if you haven't changed it, what would happen if you press the power button and hold it is Bixby would come up. But see, you can change it. You can change it to where you get the traditional power button settings. And I have mine set up for Twitter for a for a double press. Ta -da. So easy peasy. Now, how do you set this up? Well, you don't set it up in the settings. That's the first mistake that I made. I was looking for it in the settings it's actually under the power settings, so you have to press the little power button up there. Now the software power button, once you see that, you can press side key settings down here. Ta-da! Now you can configure the double press, or you can even disable the double press if you don't want that on there at all. Uh, I will note though, so you can have it do Bixby, and then the power to hold, the press and hold, you can do Bixby also. But it won't let you set up the Google Assistant for either of these, so they're okay with you not using Bixby, but they're not okay with you using the Google Assistant instead. So I was kind of disappointed by that. I wanted to use the Google Assistant. So, all right, press and hold. You have two options. You can do wake Bixby or you can do power off menu. I prefer power off menu because I feel like the power button should be used for that. But that's how they have it set up. Uh, so I turned mine to power off menu. So just so you can see, if we have it on wake Bixby, if we press and hold, we get Bixby versus if you change it, the power settings go to, whoops, messed up there. Change it to power menu, then you'll see that you get the power menu. Now on here, you can quick launch camera, you can open Bixby, or you can open app. I have mine set for Twitter, but you can set it for whatever you want. I mean, you can set it for Chrome, you can set it for the Samsung App Store. You can even set it for Google, but that's just a Google search. So here we go. Double click. Ta-da. We have Google. And then if you press and hold, we now get the power settings. So there you go. I wanted to go ahead and show that off so you could see what it's all about. And so you could free your button from the Bixby experience if that's what you choose to do and set it up where you have either an app that you want, so you can have a favorite app, or you can set up the power settings, which is something that I'm really happy about. So that's all I got. Hopefully you found this helpful, easy, and intuitive. Thanks for tuning in and watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.